Welcome to Healing Touch. What's happening? Our online service every Sunday at 11 a.m. Facebook Live. Zoom Bible study every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Weekly prayer conference call every Monday and Friday at 7 p.m. information go to www.thelifecenter.org now here's bishop kimball with today's message well good morning everyone and what a blessed day god has given us i want to thank him first of all for saving our souls and giving us an opportunity to go back with jesus lord thank you I want to thank God for my dear friend and colleague, Dr. Mm-hmm. Carnell King. Thank you, Bishop. A good, good, good friend. You know, the Bible says a friend loves at all times. And there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother all times. Friends don't leave you. Amen. If it's a true friend, they love at all times. And I thank God for that. Well, today we're back in the book of Acts. Chapter 14, we basically halfway through. It's only 28 chapters in Acts. And I'm learning so much at this time in my sojourn on the earth, but I'm also seeing a lot as well. Uh, We all know what happened this past week in our country. We all know how ugly it was and how out of character it was for a democracy. Uh, But it all stems back to what God says, and listen to me very carefully. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. A nation is only exalted through righteousness, only righteousness. I don't care what man do to promote, it can only go as God has deemed it to go, and that is through righteousness. When the righteous are in charge, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, they mourn. We can tell by God's word what's going on. Mm -hmm. But yet and still, there's so many prophets, so-called, are coming up with all kinds of prophecies. And I spoke about this few weeks back. We must be very careful because Jesus said these words, the closer the issue is coming, the more aggressive they're going to get and they're going to deceive many. He even went so far as to say, if it were possible, they would deceive the very elect. Stand your ground in the word of God. Yes. yes. Have a solid foundation in the word of God. And I know overseer that <clears throat> there's some things that transpired this past week that caused men in America to be baffled and yes. amazed and so many other things. And what, what did you think of this? Well, Bishop, and, and thank you. And good morning, all. To kind of piggyback on what you've already made, the point you made, to stand on the word of God. Why are you standing, people of God? Be encouraged. Yes. The same encouragement that God spoke through the prophet Isaiah to the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. He said in Isaiah 41, 10, do not fear. For I am with you. Do not be anxious. Do not anxiously look about you. Another translation says, be not dismayed. Mm -hmm. I like that translation. He says, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. 
Surely I would help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This word, when he says, and do not be this made, I thought that was so profound to mm -hmm. what many people's initial reaction was to what transpired this week. This mm -hmm. word, this made, mean don't be disillusioned. Mm -hmm. It also means to, to, to agitate the mind. Mm -hmm. the, yes. the word of God says, don't allow that to happen. Okay. Be encouraged. Rest assured that God is with us. We don't have to fear. We don't have to be disillusioned and we don't have to worry about what's going to happen mm -hmm. to us because he is our God. That, that is so true. Then the scripture also tells us we walk by faith and not not by, by sight. sight. Amen. It's not what you see. Yes. It's what you believe. Amen. If you believe God is with you, then what you see can't be stronger than God. Amen. And I thank Amen. God that he's given us his word. And let's stand, stand tall and stand strong. Despise not prophecy, mm -hmm. but make sure it comes from God. Amen. Make sure it comes from God. How do you know it comes from God? Because God says the word, if I spoke it, it's going to come to pass. Numbers 23, 19 tell us God is not a man that he should lie, mm -hmm. neither the son of man that he should repent. Amen. If he spoke it, yes. he's going to make, make it, it good. good. If he said it, yes. it's going to come to pass. Amen. And I thank God for that. So let's rest assured that the scriptures will be fulfilled. The scriptures. Yes. So how do we know what's going to be fulfilled? You got to read it. You got to <laughs> listen to it. Amen. You have to get in it. The Amen. Bible is our foundation. Without it, we standing on what people say, what people do. We are taken by this, by that. Many situations Israel was afraid in. Mm -hmm. Many situations. Mm -hmm. Paul says in the first chapter of 2 Corinthians, he brings us to the end of ourselves. Yes, yes. So we won't trust in ourselves. Mm -hmm. He was in situations and he said, we despaired even of life, mm -hmm. which he said, we didn't know if we was going to live or die. die. That's right. And that, that, that's yeah. something. Mm -hmm. But God is faithful, people of God. Mm -hmm. He's faithful. And if it's written in the scriptures, he's going to make it good. And I thank him for that. So Amen. don't fear. Don't that's be right. dismayed. Mm -hmm. Don't be tossed here and there with every wind of doctrine, with yeah. everything you see mm -hmm. and everything you hear, be anchored in the word of God. Yes. He is our savior. Amen. 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 As we get to chapter 14 uh, of Acts today, halfway through the book, and Paul is beginning to experience some severe attacks because the gospel that he's taken is not something that people want to hear. The message that he's preaching does not, does not line up with people's belief. And so he's drawing a lot of attention and hostility from the Jewish congregation. He's beginning to experience bodily harm. Mm -hmm. And we'll find that he was stoned and left for dead. The next day, what did the apostle do? He got up and went back into the city. Mm -hmm. Now that's something. <clears throat> Following Jesus is not a cakewalk. Mm -hmm. It's not where things go the way you want them to go all the time, and we'll talk about that just, mm -hmm. just a little later. But if you're going to follow Jesus, if you want to be a disciple, mm -hmm. gird up the loins of your mind, as Peter tells us. And you should be ready to take whatever God brings into your path. Now, I like what Paul encouraged there in verse, verse 28, I believe is, is, is what it is, uh, chapter 13. And um, um, I believe it's um, chapter, two. It's, it's, it's verse 28. I was reading it and he said, and through much tribulation, we're going to uh, enter the kingdom. And I believe mm -hmm. that is so, so true. Mm -hmm. I have it, have it written down here. No, it's verse okay. 28. Yes, I was going through Acts this, this past week, trying to keep up with um, 
all that Paul was going through. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. find out that they left from, um, well, just before they left, mm -hmm. they were in um, chapter 13, mm -hmm. right before he left. He says here in verse... 52, yes. the, the, last, yeah. the last part, they're, mm -hmm. they, they, they're in Iconium. Mm -hmm. They shook off the dust of their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. Mm -hmm. Now, but the disciples there said something in verse yes. 52. Yes, and that's so powerful, that, that verse 52, because while we're teaching on Paul and his missionary journeys, the Bible is giving us as disciples of Jesus Christ today and a pattern or a, a, a point of reflection, if you would. Verse 52 says, and the disciples were continually filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. Yes. They were continually filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. Jesus says in John 15, 11, these things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be made full. Now, this joy, and, and when I read this, I got excited because the joy that Jesus is speaking of in John, that the same joy that was with these disciples in Acts 13, 52, it was the joy of having, of knowing that the abiding of the Father was with them, mm -hmm. that the Father abided with them. It was not a joy that was based on an emotion. And he says that, our joy will be made full. Our joy is made full when we can say, like John said in John 3.30, we must decrease and he mm -hmm. increase in us. And it was throughout, it was so up to this point, Bishop, it's amazing how the constant thread that we have observed and read is the work of the Holy Spirit. The work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit from Acts 2.4, and I just want to reference a couple before we transition to, four, to chapter 14. In 2, 4, it says, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit was giving utterance. Mm -hmm. Acts 8, 431, excuse me, Acts 431. And when they had prayed, the place where they had gathered together was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak the word of God mm -hmm. with boldness. Acts 7, 55 with uh, Stephen, the stoning of Stephen. The Bible says, but being full of the Holy Spirit, mm. he gazed intently into heaven. And throughout Acts, there's many mother references to the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. But the point we want to get us to grab hold of this morning is everything that was being done for the kingdom of God was under the power oh, okay. of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Whatever people of God we are going to be doing today and into the future for the kingdom of God, we won't be able to do it without the help of oh, no. the Holy Spirit. That's, that, that's so true. The scripture that I was making reference to, I, I guess I went so far over the, the, the 20s of Acts. I'm a little mm -hmm. ahead of myself. Okay. <laughs> and this is what Paul had said before. Uh, uh, in verse 21 of chapter 14. Okay. Uh, after they had preached the gospel to the city and had made many disciples, mm -hmm. they returned to Lystra and Iconium and to Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, mm -hmm. encouraging them to continue in the faith and saying, through many tribulations, yes. we must enter the kingdom of God. Yeah. Many times I ask this question, is this only for this time? Is Luke just trying to get us information in the scripture? I, I don't believe just God, that God would just give us this for information. Right. I believe there's a purpose and mm -hmm. a reason for this. Amen. He also mm -hmm. writes to Timothy that all who live godly in Christ Jesus mm -hmm. will suffer persecution. That's right. Why are we trying to avoid this? God is getting us ready for something. Yes. And yes. To, to stick with our, our theme and our message here on, on Acts, my Bible got acceptance and opposition. Yes. There will mm -hmm. be opposition. Amen. We must face that. Mm -hmm. and, and we have to ask the question, why do we run from it? 
-hmm. Why do Christians want everything to be right, mm -hmm. to want mm -hmm. everybody to like them, yeah. to like everything to be pleasing to them? I think that is the opposite of what God tells us in the scripture. Yes. Now, yeah. there's a, 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 a scripture I read in chapter 24. Mm -hmm. I went... I was I was way over there, Pastor <laughs> King. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, it's okay. I was, I was following in. what Paul was going through yeah. by carrying the gospel, and mm -hmm. that's primarily mm -hmm. our job. That's right. It, that's it's right. to preach the gospel. The gospel. Mm -hmm. And Paul was speaking before Felix here. Just mm -hmm. just just bear with me. And uh, Felix was, you know, he was the governor there and he had mm -hmm. his wife, Drusilla. They came to listen um, to Paul. Yes, sir. And he began to speak to them. Mm -hmm. And the scripture says in verse 24, Acts 24. Mm -hmm. But some days later, Felix arrived with Drusilla. Yes. His wife, who was a Jewish, and sent for Paul and heard him speak about Faith in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is all Paul preached. Yes, that's right. That's, 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 that's all he preached. He didn't preach about success mm -hmm. and prosperity. He didn't preach that. Mm -hmm. Because in my notes I wrote, Paul preached for conviction. Amen. This is what we should preach for. We shouldn't mm -hmm. preach to try to make people happy. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit job. Amen. We Amen. should preach for people to make a decision. Amen. Is it the decision to stop doing something, the decision to start doing something? Mm -hmm. To those who have not accepted Jesus, you have to make a decision to follow Jesus. Yes. And in Paul's uh, 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 particular case, they had accepted the way of Moses and to bring Jesus in was to contradict Moses and that causes a lot of, a, a lot of stir. Yes. But yes. we today have this enlightenment from God in the scripture that is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Jesus said before Moses was, I, I am. am. Amen. And so we Amen. have to stick with the I am That's right. of God. <laughs> but anyway, Felix, who was the governor, he's, he's listening to, to Apostle Paul in verse five say, but he was discussing righteousness, mm -hmm. self-control and judgment mm -hmm. to come. Felix became frightened. Yes. That's the yeah. Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. See, convicting mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. and bringing him to a point where he had to make a decision. So mm -hmm. he made a decision. His decision was go away for the present. Mm hmm. And I will find time. And when I find time, I will summon you. Yes, yes. And, and I, I wrote something down when I read that. When is it convenient to obey God? That's good. It, it, it just wasn't the right time, Paul. You know, <laughs> it just, just, it's, 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 it's not convenient. When I find time, mm. uh, the King James say, when, when I have a convenient time. Okay. And that is, that is so important. All that Paul in the scriptures is, is teaching us all that the Holy Spirit is doing these men in the scripture. Why do we want it to be convenient to obey God? Mm, that's good. We, we want yeah. a convenient time. Right now during this pandemic, it's not convenient to obey God and what he asks us to do. It's mm -hmm. just, just, just not the right time. Mm -hmm. And then when we get, get to the point where we get into a situation, guess who we call on? God. The God we say, I don't have time to that's obey good. you right, right now. And mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing to ask. Is it convenient to obey God? Mm. And then I look at Jesus' life, and when you look at Jesus' life, you have to say, wow, this is, this is really something. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, was, it was a life that Jesus had when it wasn't convenient for Jesus to be cheerful when they were uh, spitting on him and beating on him or whatever. Mm -hmm. well, but you have to, but the Bible says he was led like a lamb to the slaughter, mm -hmm. like a sheep before it shears is yeah. dumb. Mm -hmm. He opened not his mouth. That's right. See, mm -hmm. you, you, you know it's not convenient when people are beating on you. Mm -hmm. It's not convenient to hold your peace. That's right. 
but Jesus did. Yes, he did. He did. And, and mm -hmm. Paul lets us know why. Mm -hmm. And then patient when it's hard to be patient. It's not gonna, it's not a convenient time to be patient. Yes. When yes. you are really, really being impatient, whether it's waiting on something, something mm -hmm. is happening and you you know, I don't have much patience. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not convenient at the time. Yes. Jesus yes. was um, silent when he should have talked, but it wasn't a convenient time. Mm -hmm. All of these examples, he, 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 he was agreeable when he should have been disagreeable. disagreeable. Mm -hmm. all, all of these, all of these, he was loving when he should have been hating. It was mm -hmm. more convenient to hate yeah. Judas yeah. than to love him. That's right. See, That's but right. it wasn't convenient. Mm -hmm. Suffer wrong mm -hmm. when you know you're right. Yes. That's, yeah. it's, it's not, that's not, that's not easy to do, mm -hmm. my dear friend. That's, mm -hmm. that's not easy to do. That's right. But then I read on and you can find in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4 and 5, Paul talks about his message that he preached. 1 mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4 and 5, and then we'll go to 2 Corinthians. Okay. Uh, the preaching that Paul did as we read there in the 14th chapter, Paul was preaching and, and it, it, it was some message that Paul preached uh, because mm -hmm. the people actually were hearing it and it was causing a stir. A stir. Mm -hmm. he, he says, and he was speaking the word of God and he stirred up the Jews in verse 4, 14, 2. I'm jumping all around. Okay, here. okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, the Jews who disbelieved stirred up the minds of the Gentiles and embittered them against the brethren. Mm -hmm. They spent a long time there speaking boldly mm -hmm. with reliance upon the oh, Lord. That's yes. the only way to yeah, speak amen. the word of God. Amen. You, 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 can't, you can't depend on the response mm -hmm. of people. That's right. You got to rely on the Lord mm -hmm. who was testifying to the word of his grace granting that signs and wonders be done by their hands. Mm -hmm. But the people of the city were divided. Some sided with the Jews and some with the apostles. Mm -hmm. And when an attempt was made by both Gentiles and the Jews with their rulers to mis mistreat and to stone them, they became aware of it and fled. Mm -hmm. he, he left. Right. That had to be some message. Yes. yes. That, that had to be. There yes. had to be some message where he just left. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when, when he was in, um, uh, they left Iconium. No, mm -hmm. he came down to Iconium. Mm -hmm. But where, where they had just left from, you know, the whole city came out. Mm -hmm. And that had to be some message that yes. Paul was preaching. Mm -hmm. Now, listen to what he says about his preaching. In 1 Corinthians 2, mm -hmm. he says, When I came to you, brethren, I did not come with superiority of speech yes. or of wisdom proclaiming to you the testimony of God. Mm -hmm. That's not a right. Mm -hmm. First, I determined to know nothing among you yes, right. except Jesus mm -hmm. Christ and him crucified. That's all mm -hmm. I want to know. Mm -hmm. Keep your business to yourself. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm here on Jesus' business. Amen. Then Amen. he says, so that your faith would not rest on the wisdom of men, mm -hmm. but on the power of God. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was so wonderful. Amen. My Amen. message and my preaching were not in persuasive words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and power. That's verse four. Yes. Now, Paul could have mm -hmm. actually done the, mm -hmm. the, the gospel with wisdom and persuasive words. Yes. Because right, right there in when he was in Iconium, they thought he was a God. a God, yes. <laughs> but the, by, the, by the way he was speaking, he was mm -hmm. the chief spokesman. Yes. And they mm -hmm. thought he was Hermes there. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and, and they thought Barnabas was, was Zeus. Zeus. Mm -hmm. And they began to like, worship them as God. Mm -hmm. Paul was a spirit-filled mm -hmm. man that had a way with words. He yes. was skilled in rhetoric. Yes. I could have come and blew you all away. Yes. He said, but that's not my mission. Amen. My mission is to preach Christ mm -hmm. and Christ Jesus alone. Yes. See, Paul yes. preached because, number one, he was sent by Christ. Amen. He was sent by Christ, mm -hmm. and he was released by the authority of, of the, the church, church mm -hmm. under the power of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yes. So all of them was involved <laughs> with that. So now he had skill and ability to do it a different way, mm -hmm. but he was following the Holy Spirit. Amen. He was Amen. following the Holy Spirit. Amen. He was following the example that Jesus set. Mm -hmm. So we say then, when is it 
an opportune time to obey the Holy Spirit. But you know, Bishop, you made a good point about what Paul did in, the, in, in front of the, the crowds there at, at Iconium, yeah. where they wanted to could see him, call him Hermes and um, Barnabas mm-hmm. Zeus. But the wisdom that Paul had, as you read a little further mm-hmm. in chapter 14, he didn't allow them to worship them. You know, no. he told them uh, that it... I'm going to turn over too far. Excuse me one second there. <laughs> Take your time. There you go. Said, but when the apostle Barnabas and Paul heard of it, they tore their robes. They wanted to offer sacrifices to Paul and Barnabas as if they were gods yes. that had come down. Uh-huh. He says to them uh, in verse 15 of chapter 14, men, why are you doing these things? Why, why are... Also, we are also men of the same nature mm-hmm. as you and preach the gospel to you that you should turn from these vain things to a living God who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in it. Mm-hmm. When I read that, I made a note here because I'm always looking to bridge what yes, we're reading yes. with today. And the point I made from that passage alone was the church today tends to behave just like the Lyconians. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that in that they don't realize how tragic it is to give reverence to a man that should be given to to the creator of the man. Yes. Yes. And the man should be wise enough to enlighten them as to where their reverence and honor should be given. That's that's, that's good. That's so true. It's a it's a wonderful thing to even note also that what they were doing, they were doing out of the flesh Mm -hmm. because when the Jews came from Antioch and Iconium, Mm -hmm. they convinced them to join in with them. The same people that was honoring Paul and Barnabas as God, now they wanted to stone them. (laughs) (laughs) So people would switch on you, man. They they, they, they would switch because you have to to always be in the spirit of God. Amen. And when when Paul came to the Corinthians, he said, I came to you in weakness. Mm -hmm. That is something that we have to realize in order for God to make us strong the way he wants to make us strong. That's right. We have to realize this one thing, He bring these things into our lives to strengthen us. Amen. To strengthen us. And and it's 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 amazing that the things that God wants to strengthen us, we would fight off Mm sometimes as being something that I'm I'm not welcoming this. This this isn't good for me. Mm -hmm. But if you're gonna follow Jesus, if if you're going to be the messenger God wants you to be, you have to understand what God has given you Amen. to Amen. do this. Listen, Amen. listen at uh, what, what Paul says in the 12th chapter of 2 Corinthians. Okay. Listen to what he says about strength. Mm-hmm. And, and I think this is, this is a wonderful, wonderful uh, verse to understand. In verse 7 he says, because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, mm-hmm. for this reason, to keep me from exalting myself. Mm-hmm. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh, a messenger of Satan. Yes, yes. To torment me, mm-hmm. to keep me from exalting mm-hmm. myself. Mm-hmm. Now, this was some man. Amen. The mm-hmm. God had to keep him level minded. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. by giving him a thorn in the flesh. Now, there yeah. are many people say what it was, what it was. I'm going to take the Bible version. The it was a thorn in yes. the flesh. Yes, amen. Now, listen mm-hmm. at what the scripture says. And he said to me, mm-hmm. my grace is sufficient for you. Yes. I'm going to stop right there. Mm-hmm. That's, that's it. My grace is sufficient. It wasn't that Paul didn't have grace. Yes, yes. Jesus is telling him, that's all you need. Mm. Um, you don't need everybody to treat you right. Yes. You got my don't, grace. Yes. You don't need everybody shaking your hand. You don't need everybody lauding at you. Yes. My grace is it's sufficient. sufficient. Mm-hmm. You don't need none of this stuff to leave your life. Mm-hmm. You got everything Amen. you need Amen. with grace. Amen. My, my grace is, mm-hmm. let's stop right there. Amen. Everybody don't have to like me. That's everybody right. don't have Come to on, speak to me. That doesn't make it. <laughs> I got everything yeah. I need. For by grace are you saved yeah. through faith. Mm-hmm. God didn't save me to be liked by everybody. That's right. That's God right. saved me 
for him. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Jesus didn't please everybody. Mm. Paul didn't please Come everybody. On. Yes, sir. We're not going to please everybody. Right. But I have everything I need. Yes. I don't need pats on the back. Come on. I yes. don't need congratulations. Mm -hmm. Grace, he say, my grace yes. is sufficient for you. Yes. Now, here's the key. Mm -hmm. For power. Ah, uh, yes. For mm. power so that the power, let me read this right. Mm -hmm. Most, he says, my grace is sufficient for you, mm -hmm. for power mm -hmm. is perfected yes. where? In, in, weakness. in weakness. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. For power is perfected in what? Weakness. weakness. When mm -hmm. I came to you, brethren, I came to you in weakness. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't like to admit that we weak. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. Jesus permitted himself to be that way. Mm -hmm. He permitted himself not to fight back so that mm -hmm. the power of God could be manifested yes. in his body. Yes. You know, maybe we're short on power because we don't know how to be weak. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're short on power because we got to answer everything. We got to reply to everybody. My God. We got to speak how we, maybe we don't have power because we don't know how to be weak. Mm -hmm. And he yes. says, power is perfected, not in your boisterousness, in not weakness. in your, uh, you know, rattling out every time, mm -hmm. not in your acting to every situation. Yes. Power is perfected in weakness. Yes. Yes. So now I have to not speak when I want to speak. Mm -hmm. That's how God yes. perfects his power in me. <laughs> Amen. I have to smile when I want to holler. Amen. Amen. I have to laugh when I want to cry. That's right. What does that allow? Yes. That allow power, power to, to be, be perfected, perfected. Yes. in you. Yes. Glory to God. Most gladly, he said. Mm -hmm. I would rather boast about my weakness. Amen. I don't have it all together mm -hmm. all the time, yes. but by the grace of God, yes. I am what I Amen. am. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And it's a wonderful thing when people could understand by you protecting yourself and saying everything you want to say mm. and talking to people out. All you're doing is denying the power of God yes. to work in your life. Amen. Amen. My grace is it, you got grace? I got grace. That's all you need, buddy. Yeah, yeah. You don't need everybody to be your yeah. friend. Yeah, all occasions. You don't need grace. everybody to speak good to yes. you. You got yes. grace? Um, for all well, occasions. You, for yes. all occasions. Amen. Yes. <laughs> I thought that was so wonderful, man, and that's yes. why Paul did what he did. Mm -hmm. He wrote to the Corinthians, mm. and he told them, and he said to me, my mm. grace is sufficient. sufficient. Yeah. Why do you want it to go away? You don't. You, you, well, Paul says he prayed three times for God to move it. Mm -hmm. And God said, well, you got all you need, buddy. You yes. got everything you need. Yes. You know, yes. if that thing in you can overpower my grace, mm. I would have never gave it to you. My goodness. I'd have never yeah. did it. So yeah. here we are in the midst of Let's go to chapter 14 now mm -hmm. for the introduction. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, Bishop, the more I'm, I'm reminded of how we got started in the book of Acts so that the church today can see how the church that was established by Christ mm. operated, how they functioned, the how they came about. That's true. And everything that we've seen through these 13 chapters, mm -hmm. the consistency is the word of God yeah. and the power of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. And it's amazing that the teaching of the Word of God caused, brought about convictions and people became yes. disciples of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a Hammond B3 organ for no. the Holy Spirit to move no. in their church service. No, they didn't. All they had was the teaching of the Word of God and the Holy Spirit moved mm -hmm. in such a way that even when adverse situations that's the power that I, I, I desire, Bishop. That, well, this, this, is, this is what Paul says right mm -hmm. here. When the man that was lame from his mother's womb mm -hmm. had never walked, is yes. what the scripture yes. says. Mm -hmm. Paul was preaching. Mm -hmm. and watch, what should he say? When he had fixed his gaze on him, verse 9, mm -hmm. and had seen that he had faith to be made well. Yes. Yes. What did he, he said with a loud voice, stand up right on your feet. And he leaped up and began to Ooh, walk. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, man, yeah. man, let me read on. <laughs> when the crowd saw what Paul had done, what mm -hmm. Paul had done, mm -hmm. they raised their voices saying in the like Caonian language, mm -hmm. the gods have become like men. They'd never seen it like that. That's before. right. That's they'd right. never seen the power of God. 
-hmm. They had never seen it. And, and, and they called Barnabas Zeus and Paul MS. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what they, they really thought was something has happened beyond any of our power. Yes. And they were right. Mm -hmm. It was the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. working, working through yes. the faith. Yes. Now, it's, it's amazing that all of this is going on. Verse 19 says, Jews came from Antioch and Iconium and having won over the crowds, they stoned Paul, dragged him out of the city, supposing him to be dead. Yes. Wow. Yeah. For mm -hmm. what reason? They didn't agree with him. Yeah. They, yeah. they didn't agree with him. Do you know yeah. what kept Paul alive? Grace. Grace. Yeah. You can't go beyond God's grace, man. Amen. If God Amen. grace you to stand, can't nobody knock you down. That's right. That's if right. If God grace you to run, ain't nobody going to beat you mm -hmm. running. Yes. It's grace. Yes, right. I like that word, grace. Mm -hmm. Listen to what he said. While the disciples stood around him, he got up and entered the city. The next day, he went away with Barnabas to Derby. Mm -hmm. Now, this man was stoned by people and left for dead. He got up. Yeah. and went back into the city. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to do? Get stoned again? Yes, <laughs> so yes. The next yes. day he went away in, uh, uh, with Barnabas to Derby. Mm -hmm. After they had preached the gospel to that city and had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, to Iconium and Antioch. Mm -hmm. Now, what's not being recorded here is all these places, mm -hmm. little churches was being Established. Yes, you right. know, you, mm -hmm. you, you, the, the seed had been planted. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. once the seed is planted, mm -hmm. if it falls on good soil, it's going to spring up. Yes. And see, the, the scripture says, strengthen the souls of the disciples, verse 22, mm -hmm. encouraging them to continue in the faith and saying, through many tribulations, we must enter the kingdom of God. Yes. In other words, don't look at what's happening to me. Yes, that's right. To be something to deter you from believing in mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Through many tribulations. I, Paul is really saying, I'm still on my way to the kingdom. Yes, yes. I, I'm still going to see Jesus. Mm -hmm. Then when they had appointed elders for them in every church, mm -hmm. having prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord in whom they had believed. Yes. Well, I ran into a little snag there because when they had appointed elders for them in every city, mm -hmm. and you go through Acts, you'll find that these elders and these leaders of the church were appointed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's going to cause a big um, conversation, a big debate there it is, is they were, they were not put in positions by vote yes. or by yeah. majority. Mm -hmm. The apostle Paul and Barnabas, they appointed elders for them in every church. He tells Titus, I left you in Crete, Crete mm -hmm. to set in order the things that are wanting yeah. and ordain elders in every city that have appointed you. Mm -hmm. When the church first started, the early church, a young church like this, everybody who had a position in the church was assigned that position by somebody over them. That's right. There was, there was not like we have today. We've gotten to the point where we select and we actually determine who ought to lead us. And, and we've gotten so more than with it until we say, well, we're being led by God. Well, if you're being led by God, then God ought to speak like he spoke yeah. before. Same. But mm -hmm. I, I, I take issue with that, and I'm going to read that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. and, but the, 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 the scripture makes it very, very clear here. Mm -hmm. Now, in verse, they, they, they passed through, verse 24, Pisidia, and came into Pamphylia. When they had spoken the word in Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from which they had been commended to the grace of God yeah. for the work that they, they had, had accomplished. accomplished. Mm -hmm. When they arrived and gathered the church together, they began to report all the things God had done with them mm -hmm. and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. I know Paul was all beat up with all them rocks yeah. and stone stoned and left for dead. Mm -hmm. and he didn't talk about that. Mm -hmm. The only thing he talked about is what God was doing. Not what you did to me, yeah. but what God did for them. That, that, now that's a message right there. Yes, sir. You know, it's not yeah. what people do to me, it's what God's doing, doing for them. Amen. And, mm -hmm. and they spent a long time with the disciples. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the confusion is still about the law of Moses, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Jews and Gentiles. Mm -hmm. 
and Acts 15 is about the council at Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. There's one thing I like about this council at Jerusalem as I read this, we'd find that when they had made a decision about what they were going to tell the Gentiles mm -hmm. and the Jews, this is what Peter says. For it seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us. Mm -hmm. Verse 28. That's mm -hmm. the verse I was, I was referring to earlier. Mm -hmm. For it seemed good to us, no, mm -hmm. to, to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Mm -hmm. then to us, us. Mm -hmm. to lay upon you no greater burden than these essentials. And those mm -hmm. essentials are missing here. Yes. They had to have a council because it was too much disagreement going on. What do you have to do to be saved? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a big debate today. Yes, it is. I know yes, when we is. were in Jamaica one year and we was witnessing and we asked this young lady, uh, um, have you accepted the Lord Jesus? Are you saved? She said, all depends on what church you go to. <laughs> so you ask somebody there, are you saved? Well, it mm -hmm. all depends on what church you go yeah, to. Yeah. Uh, some say you have to do this to be saved. It's, it's the same thing mm -hmm. that we are faced with here in the book of Acts. Yes, sir. Well, this is what they say. Unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we, we, we have the very same thing today. But mm -hmm. I, I believe with all my heart that this book of Acts actually brings a lot to light, yes. a lot of understanding, mm -hmm. and things that we should do when you have opposition such as we have mm -hmm. uh, with doctrine. Yes. That's, yes. that's basically what it was. Mm -hmm. The scribes and the Pharisees believed in the law of Moses. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I didn't come to destroy it, I come to fulfill, fulfill the law. Mm -hmm. But what, what did he say? Unless you be circumcised, according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. Mm. Well, that's what proselytes were. Proselytes mm. were those Gentiles who had been circumcised. Mm -hmm. And there was a big debate. It was a big thing. That's what mm. got Paul stoned yes. Uh, yes. there in, um, in, 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 what's that? Lystra. 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 Mm -hmm. He was actually telling people about Jesus, but he wasn't mentioning anything from the law of Moses. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. just didn't fit well with them. Yes. See, yes. It's, it's a beautiful thing when Jesus can make things clear to us mm -hmm. about what Moses really taught and what Moses really meant, what the law really meant is, is what I meant to say. And it, it's amazing how they looked at things and Moses' parables, and I, I mentioned this a few weeks ago, were geared toward the thinking of that division between what Moses said and what Jesus said, mm -hmm. what Moses mm -hmm. did and what Jesus is doing. Mm -hmm. And one of Amen. them was when Jesus gave the parable about the man who had um, the sick man, diseased man, the dogs were licking his sores. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And he finds himself in Abraham's bosom. Mm -hmm. Now that was really, really, really insulting, despising, and some of every negative word you could think of to a Jewish man. Mm -hmm. Because he understood what it meant to rest in Abraham's bosom. Yes, yes. Uh, we, we never gave it no thought. I guess we think Jesus was um, holding the man in his, in his bosom rocking him, but that's, mm -hmm. that's not what it's about. Mm -hmm. It was a parable that Jesus told to bring light to their belief. Mm -hmm. For this man to be in Jesus' bosom means he was the, um, reclined at dinner with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's telling this to these Pharisees, to these people who really couldn't see beyond the, the cleanness and the righteousness that they thought the law of Moses gave them through all the ritual. Mm -hmm. So Jesus says, a man leaves full of sores, dog licking him, and the next savior. moment he's in Abraham's bosom. That was repulsive to them. How could this sick, diseased mm -hmm. man with, with all of this filth on him be in Jesus, recline at dinner. Yeah, with, yeah. They didn't know how the transition took place. Mm -hmm. Just like Jesus said, you err, not knowing no scripture. scripture. Mm -hmm. what, he, what, he, what he told those um, Sadducees, you, 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 you really don't know. 
because mm -hmm. they didn't believe in the resurrection. Mm -hmm. And they went to Jesus about the man who had all the wives that say in the resurrection, whose wife is it going to be? For he had all these, all these husbands that Jesus yes. say, you mm -hmm. are not knowing scripture. Mm -hmm. See, when we do not understand what Jesus is saying and why he's saying it, what Paul did and why Paul did it, we missed the message. Yes. Why did Paul do what he did? Mm -hmm. He had the grace of God. He had the Holy Spirit. That's all he needed. Amen. And when God told him, my grace is sufficient, he went on from there. Amen. And I want to tell you, whatever you go through, can out your mission for the Lord Jesus, whatever you go through. If you got God's grace, that's all. Thank him for that. Amen. Spend the rest of the day thanking him for grace. Glory don't spend to God. the rest of the day talking about what happened to you and they don't listen to you. Mm -hmm. Spend the rest of the day thanking God. I have God's grace in Amen. my life. You know I'm going to get to heaven? By, By the, the grace, grace of God. God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to close out the day. Yes. Pastor. Yes. <laughs> Father God, we love you and we thank you for, we know God as the Apostle Paul declared, as you declared to the Apostle Paul, your grace is sufficient for us as it was for the Apostle Paul. And we thank you, God. We, we thank, thank you, you for your word because, God, your word is continually a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Our prayer, oh God, this day, despite all that is going on, yes. that you continue to allow your word Hallelujah. to rest, lead, and guide us, oh God, God in the so name God. of Jesus. In your name, Jesus. Father, we thank you, oh God, because your word is established. It is forever settled in the heavens. Yes. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, O oh God, because in you we live, move, and have our being. Give us a hunger and a thirst now, O oh God for righteousness like never before. We see what's going on on the horizon of this nation and around this world. God, but we look unto you for all things. We have your grace. We have the, the understanding that it is in our weakness that your power is perfected. Amazing. So strengthen us, perfect us as we acknowledge our weaknesses in every area of our life. Be with us, O Holy Be with Spirit, us, Lord. is Be our with prayer us. as we go throughout this day and every day, God, that you so grace us to experience. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 See you next week. Amen.